smells amazing, guys. Just amazing. Such a great recipe. Alright, so. Hi there, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make my honey habanero jerky. Uh, I, you know, I'm going to be using venison today. Uh, it would be from a buck that I shot back during bow season in 2020. Uh, I'll show some pictures here. I also have a video of me shooting him. Uh, pretty fun. The, the cuts of meat that I'm going to be using today are the top round of the hind quarter of the deer and also the eye of round. It's about five pounds of meat. And first I'll be preparing my wet marinade jerky. What's some of your guys' favorite jerky recipes? Leave them in the comments. All right, so brought you in for a closer look here. Uh, I've already prepared all the ingredients. I will have a ingredients list at the end of the video if you guys wanna see that, if you wanna try to make this yourself. So for starters, I use 10 habaneros, and I slice them up, seeds and all. And we're just gonna go ahead and dump them in the pan. Make sure you get all the seeds. Sorry about that. A little windy out today. I'm uh, preparing this right before I go to work. All right, so there's the habaneros. Next up will be some fresh ground black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce, pink Himalayan salt. We need a really good quality salt for this. I do add a bit of liquid smoke. It does not take much. I don't have it in the recipe, but it's a nice little addition. Not much, maybe a quarter teaspoon to a half a teaspoon. So then, another thing, a lot of recipes don't have this, Dr. Pepper. Works really good. Helps with that sweet flavor and the spicy. I use about two cans or 20 ounces. Go ahead and get this in here. Then up next, last ingredient will be the honey. I actually found this at Hy-Vee. It is raw, unfiltered honey. It's actually from here in Iowa. Um, looks like Linville, Iowa. Pure Iowa honey. So, and make a mess with it. That's always good. So it calls for two cups. Um, there's about three cups in this jar. I'm just going to eyeball it. A little bit extra is not going to hurt anything. Man, this looks like some good honey too. All right. Do good at making a mess, obviously. So I'm going to get this over to the stove. You guys will see me get it to a boil. And then as soon as it starts boiling, you bring it down to a low heat and simmer for 30 to 45 minutes. That way it can break down everything. It, it uh, reduces it, really gets everything mixed in, and it gets those flavors just really great. I mean, amazing flavor on this jerky. So join me at the stove. So while I have my marinade mixture cooking, uh, getting ready to come to a boil, I have my deer meat. So I had thawed it out, but then you take and you put it in the freezer for an hour before you go to cut it. It makes cutting it a lot easier. So now on this jerky, you see this cut's pretty clean. Uh, I did most of my cutting off all the, the bad stuff before I packaged it up. 
So on this jerky, what you want to do is I cut quarter inch. You can cut a little bit thinner if you like thinner jerky. It's all up, you know, personal preference. I have to tell you guys, the smells coming from that marinade is just amazing. It will fill your house up. Uh, sometimes it can get a little powerful though, so you have to be careful. I mean, run a fan, run your exhaust fan for your stove, whatever you have to do. Uh, those habaneros, they can be a little overwhelming when you're cooking. So I'm going to hurry up and get this done. I'll bring you guys back. Looks like my marinade's coming to a boil, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to a simmer and start the clock for 40 minutes. So I'll be back with you guys shortly. Okay, so I've got my marinade here. Uh, put it in a plastic or a glass bowl. Put it in the fridge, let it get cooled off. Uh, do not add it to the meat when it's still hot. So, got it cooled off. Did a little taste test. You dip your finger in it. It's pretty warm if you try to uh, taste it like that. It's too spicy. But it goes really good. House smells amazing right now. So, got all my deer meat cut up. You want to put it all in a Ziploc baggie. Once again, it's five pounds of deer meat. Uh, any lean beef would work. A round steak. Quite a few different cuts. I mean, you can do just about anything. So make sure you get this all in here. I usually do five pounds because five pounds fits perfectly in the gallon baggie. And I don't have to make any extra marinade for it. There's all the deer meat. Let me go ahead and rinse off my hands. All right. So now you want to pour your marinade in. Go ahead and seal it up. Try to get as much of the air out as possible. Make sure to massage the marinade into the meat. Do this a couple times. Uh, we're going to let this sit in the fridge for 24 hours so tomorrow we'll take and we'll pull it out. And Usually I like doing my jerky in the smoker. I should be able to do it in the smoker tomorrow I believe. Um, I've done it in the oven. This mesh recipe works great in the oven too. Works great in a dehydrator but my smoker is definitely my favorite way to do it. So, got that mixed in really good. Make sure you can get the rest of the air out. Oh, this smells amazing, guys. Just amazing. Such a great recipe. Alright, so, bag goes in the Ziploc just in case there's a leak. And then in the fridge for 24 hours and I will see you guys tomorrow all right everybody so it's been 24 hours so the meat's been soaking in the marinade what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and dump it out into a strainer and let some of it strain out you don't have to save any of the marinade if you want you can save some of the habaneros and when you're cooking the jerky you can put the habanero chips on top of the jerky and that's only if you want really spicy though that's pretty spicy so what you're gonna do is since it's a wet marinade you want to try to dry it off mainly so I take and I'll lay out single layer of my jerky on paper towels and as I go, I will 
get it laid out and then I'll lay out more paper towels until I get it all covered and drying off a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely dried. I mean, you can put this in the paper towels and then wait about five, 10 minutes, just as so long as it's not like really wet to the touch. This smells just amazing once again. Can't stress enough how good this smells. Just amazing. Alright, so that's it for this layer. Use quite a few paper towels. Um, if you don't use enough, when the meat makes them soaked, it can stick to the meat. You don't want to stick to it. It makes more work for you. So I do about, I don't know, three layers of paper towels. Definitely go through quite a few of them. So, and just start the next layer and just keep on going. bit of work involved but it's worth it best jerky recipe on YouTube I promise all right so I got all my jerky on paper towels I'll add one more layer of paper towels on top of this to make sure this top layer gets dry um, so we're gonna be able to take and do this on the smoker today uh, usually goes one to two hours, sometimes about two hours. It just depends on how thick you cut your jerky. Uh, I did fairly thick on this. I like some thicker pieces. So, thanks to the awesome abilities of editing, well, you will see me at the smoker next. All right, so we got my smoker up to temp. I just added some wood chips to it. Uh, when you're doing jerky, you want to make sure that you don't do too much smoke to it. Um, I usually add enough wood chips to do about 30 minutes of smoke on it, maybe a little less. So now that we're up to temp, I'm going to go ahead and start adding the jerky to the grates and we'll get to cooking. Okay, so I've got all the jerky loaded up in the smoker. Uh, I'm smoking at about 200 to 225. Uh, it should take anywhere from one to three hours. So we'll just check it periodically and some pieces will be done faster than others, just the way it cooks. So I'll work on getting these done and I'll show you guys a few pictures through the way and, and join me at the end when we have the finished product and I can tell you how good it tastes and hopefully you guys can give this recipe a try. So what I do is I'll go through each piece and I'll test them just to make sure that they're where they need to be. And then when we're done here, they will go into a y'all in Ziploc baggie until they cool off. You don't close off the baggie all the way. It helps bring back a little bit of moisture and gives them that tackiness. Good. Looks like we might be all the way done on a lot of these. The smells are just amazing. As soon as you step out of the back door, you can just smell it. Just amazing. All right, still got a few pieces left to finish up. And the rest of this is going to go into a Ziploc bag. Alright you guys, so that's the last of it. So like I said, I put it in a gallon Ziploc baggie and then don't close the baggie, leave it open and just fold itself over. Go ahead and let this sit on the counter for a bit. Make sure it comes a little bit more to close to room temp and then go ahead and put it in the fridge. Um, after a few hours, you can start to actually close the bag and that really helps bring a little bit of moisture back in. Um, just helps finish out the jerky really good. So, there it is. 
I wish you guys could smell it. I hope you guys try the recipe. Let me know if you do in the comments. Definitely want to know if you're able to do this and how you like it. So I'll uh, leave a recipe here at the end and hopefully you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe.